Hello YouTube, this is I Love 1994 here again today, back again with another video on camera once again. <clears throat> well ladies and gentlemen, this time is another review, not food related but movie related that is. Here I'm going to take my shoes off for a second. Ah, okay. And I thought I'd spice it up a bit, you know? And the reason and the whole backstory behind this is everybody remembers when I used to do movie reviews in 2011 and 2012, and I recently put out that V for Vendetta movie review, and I thought I'd spice it up a bit. And since the, the return of my reviews, people have been liking, you know, the new versions of my reviews. And I really like the positive feedback. Thank you, you guys. These are pretty, doing pretty well. And anywho, so I thought I'd start reviewing new movies again, like I used to do uh, back in those days. So anywho, today I'm going to be reviewing the White Castle trilogy. Uh, uh, we got the Harold and Kumar films. And... This is the first one, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. This is Escape from, from Guantanamo Bay, and this is the Christmas one. This is all three films. I bought these used off of eBay, and they're pretty damn funny. My favorite, my personal favorite of the three, it's a tie between these two, and also the actors are Cal Penn and John Cho from American Pie and Dude Where's My Car. They also have Neil Patrick Harris in here. You know, who's gay but plays, who always plays straight guys for some reason. Yeah. These are great stoner comedy classics. I'll just open these up and show you the disc. There's a disc for the White Castle movie. To think that they would actually go on and make a movie about White Castle is actually pretty fucking hilarious, I, I think so. Just shows how much that White Castle cravers love their sliders. I myself am a huge White Castle fan, and I go there once or twice a week, maybe three times. <clears throat> and sometimes I eat it while watching this movie. You know, it's a great stoner comedy classics especially when you have the munchies for white castle alone there's the spine it's a great movie it's old but it's and dated but it's funny so go check it out now no here's guantanamo bay guantanamo bay you know takes place where this one left off and it basically them trying to go to the netherlands and hunt down this dude's crush girlfriend, you could say. As where this first one revolves around them just trying to get to White Castle. That's basically the plot and gist of it. So this one has a little bit more plot to it. There's the disc to it, and yeah, somebody wrote their name on it. <laughs> I've had I've got bought stuff used before with people's names on it. As you saw in some of my previous old reviews or VHS updates from the past. There's the spine, there's the back, that creepy ass thing. And somebody scribbled on it too. But yeah, this is uh, probably another one of the best in between the two films. I really like this one as well. Not to mention that these DVDs are also the unaltered and uncensored editions. And then we have the DVD for a very Harold and Kumar Christmas from 2011. It's a little beat up and whatnot, but it still uh, plays very well. There's the disc itself. And here's the back here. They've got the waffle bot here on the back, the guy that makes the waffle sliders. Yeah, here's the spine. This is basically, the, the plot of this is they have to go in search of a Christmas tree, and then bad shit happens for there. 
a replacement Christmas tree at that since the one that they had at Harold's house burned, burns down. And then, you know, it's been a, this blue movie takes place a couple years after these two, so they meet up, you know, a couple years after. But yeah, these are, all three of these films are really funny. I recommend checking them out. And, uh, you could buy them pretty much anywhere, Amazon, eBay. I bought them off eBay, like I said, I think. Ink and, you know, they're probably on Craigslist, yada, yada, yada. They're everywhere. And, yeah. And I, if rumor has it that they're making a fourth movie called Harold and Kumar Get Droned. But, you know, they've been saying that for the past two years. And no information itself has really been put out there really so I really don't exactly 100% know but anywho I just want to say that you know I love the Harold and Kumar films and they're really funny and wonderful and I always get a kick out of them yeah one thing I would love to see is uh, a Harold and Kumar spin-off film there was something like this, although maybe one of the side characters either going to McDonald's or Burger King or whatnot instead of White Castle. No, it's just a suggestion. But yeah, this uh, that's probably it. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show you. So hope you enjoyed this review and please subscribe if man. So bye for now, YouTube.